Welcome to the channel. And today I've actually woke up a little bit early just because I want to get some schoolwork done. And today I'm going to share with you guys what it's like um, working right now in quarantine. And right now I work at a pharmacy in the city. So I'm just going to take you guys with me, show you guys what it's like, and explain exactly like how it goes down every single day. So yeah, I woke up kind of early. Right now it's kind of like around, let's see, 6 a.m. in the morning. And we're just going to basically just do a regular day. I work at 9 a.m. in the morning. So we're gonna get there early, leave at six o'clock, and come back home. So I'll catch you guys in the video. Okay, so I just made breakfast. So I'm gonna show you guys real quickly what I make. Usually I like eating like small breakfasts, like uh, just eggs usually. But since I'm gonna be working from nine to six, which is like, what is that? About uh, nine hours. So that basically means I'm gonna have to eat a lot and make sure that I get enough calories. So. My breakfast is gonna be this. So you got some uh, eggs with some cornbread, sorry, banana bread, and as well as some oatmeal, and then some uh, orange juice. And also because I'm working, uh, right at this time period, right now in New York City, it's very hard to get food. So like all the restaurants are closed and everything. So I'm gonna also show you guys real quickly my lunch that I'm gonna make because I'm gonna have to eat a lot as well during that time period because I am working a long shift. And I'll show you guys the next clip. So I got a little sidetracked watching YouTube videos, unfortunately. So I wanted to leave around like seven, but uh, it didn't happen, I watched a lot of videos. And I like the videos, of course, as I always do in all my YouTube videos that I watch. So I'm gonna show you guys real quickly my lunch, and we're gonna head out of here real quickly. I have to take a train, and uh, usually in the weekends, the train's a lot slower, because they don't come as often. So that's why I went to leave around seven, so I can like have a nice walk. And I just realized that like a lot of my stuff is at St. John's. So my lab coat and all that other nonsense is at St. John's. So usually as an intern, I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to wear a lab coat. So I'm gonna have to find scrubs. So I'm gonna have to go to a different store real quickly to get the scrubs from a different store and then travel to my store that I'm going to work at today because I usually don't work at this store. So this is the lunch real quickly. As you guys can see, nice little pasta with some broccoli and some nice chicken and a yogurt. I'm also going to take with me probably one of my protein bars. Let's see, I have a bunch of them. There's a nice little protein bar as well. It serves a really good snack in between meals. And I might have, uh, just in case, another protein drink or a fruit. So I'm going to walk over and uh, just going to show you guys real quickly. It's very important that you, like, uh, especially when you're going to like a train station, that you wear like gloves and stuff. So here I have like a box of like gloves. I bought some for my parents recently. So, here's the gloves. These are the gloves and a mask as well. I have a mask. Where does my mask go? It's over here. Okay, so we got the gloves and the mask now. So these are the gloves. And I got, I very recommend people, most people, to make sure they wear at least two, uh, bring with them two masks. Uh, just because like the first mask, just in case you lose it or like, if you're using it for like a long period of time, uh, very, very important. If you're gonna use the mask again, like at least disinfect it or sterilize it at least to the best of your ability. Cause I know people are not sterilizing it or cleaning their own mask. So definitely do that if you're gonna be using these masks. So I just came out of the train station. I went to the other uh, store 
and I got exactly what I needed. And like, it's really crazy, like seeing like the city so empty and like no one's here. Cause like literally no one's here. I mean, it's the weekend too, so it could be a big factor as well. But most people don't come to New York City on the weekends. So I'm gonna kind of see what it's gonna look like during the week when I uh, come here again. Literally no one's on the trains. Like the train literally has one, like only the homeless people are really on the train. And besides that, no one else is there. And also the fact that like, it's empty, like, it's just like, there's nothing like, nothing here. Like no, no, no restaurants are open, no food's open, like nothing. So it's just really crazy. Okay, so we're on our way to head to work. We're uh, very close. We're like two blocks away probably. So I'm gonna explain to you what it's like uh, at the actual job. What I have to deal with today. I'm just gonna see how the work flow goes. I'm expecting it to be like really, really like empty. So we'll see. changing I'm probably gonna start work it's actually very early it's around like 8 46 which is very very good because I'm 15 minutes early so I'm just gonna chill a little bit I'm also gonna take down some notes about what things that I'm doing today so I can share with you guys real quickly so I'm expecting the day to day to be really really slow today I think it's gonna be like busy in the morning because morning times when we do our like usually our deliveries like especially around like uh I would say about 11 o'clock when delivery ends. So after that time period, I expect to be like very, very, very slow. But this first two hours, they be kind of fast. I'm gonna check in with you guys after my break. My break's gonna be around like, probably like one o'clock, 12 o'clock, depending on how I feel. Um, I can tell probably based on that, what the rest of the day is gonna be like. So I expect to be really slow, and we'll see about that one. So I'll check in with you guys at about 12 to three o'clock-ish. Okay, so right now I'm actually headed to um, deliver a medication for a patient. There was a problem with the medication that the delivery service didn't deliver it correctly. So I do it sometimes every once in a while. So my patient really like can't get the medication. And I'm gonna deliver it to them right now and uh, hopefully they get it. The delivery service actually messed up with it. So I hope that they can get the medication now. today because the patient is on 10th floor so let's see how this goes was not expecting that okay so that went a lot better than expected uh, so yeah there's a problem with delivery service where they basically just deliver it to the wrong address and then the guy had to get it himself so we basically just gave him the medication because they obviously messed up. And we knew about a week weeks beforehand. We didn't know exactly what was going on, but now we do. So hopefully this is resolved now. And hope you have a patient. They're really nice. But you know, it's alarming with the whole COVID-19 thing. So I had to leave the package outside. And then they like closed the door. And then I walked away and they opened the door. And, I, and then I walked in closer and then they closed the door again. So kind of awkward, but you know, at least it got resolved at least. You still can do your best, take care of people. As much as you can. That's pretty much it. Okay, so we just finished up eating lunch. Uh, it was very, very good to eat. Um, basically, since it's right at two o'clock already, uh, the, the day stream was done. I'm leaving at six o'clock today. So, I mean, nothing really else that's gonna really come up. So that's really, really good. Uh, I think the rest of the day is gonna be just like small little tasks here and there, but everything's basically done for the day. And we have a lot of help here as well. There's a pharmacist actually craning. So a lot of my tasks, I don't have to actually do it today because the pharmacist is doing most of them, especially like phone calls and all that stuff like that. And also the pharmacist in training as well. So even if I would actually do it, the pharmacist in training does it so I can teach her or the pharmacist can teach her as well. Like the way we do it in our CVS, because uh, at our store, because some stores are different. So that's good. So pretty much a good day. And um, I'll catch you guys when I'm done and then my shift, six o'clock.
So yeah, um, basically I just wanna give you guys a quick summary because I'm really, really tired right now. And I'm gonna work again, 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm gonna go even earlier than I did today. But yeah, I just wanna say that basically I like working right now. It's very, very enjoyable. And like overall, like I actually appreciate the fact that like a lot of people don't come and they try to stay inside. And like a lot of people nowadays, they get a lot of deliveries. So like that's the only thing about the job is that it's kind of annoying doing so many deliveries because like our system is not optimized for deliveries yet to a certain extent that we're doing. But also a lot of people in my area are like business people. So like, I don't have that many people with like scripts to do. So that's the good thing about my job is that like my job is like mostly just like people that work in businesses, which are usually closed right now. And most people that are there are like people that are like travel a lot. So like, or like more affluent. So a lot of, the, are, so a lot of these patients are not even there. So honestly, like it's not that bad, honestly. Like I kind of enjoy it because it's really just the only people that actually live in that area, which is like very, very few people actually live in New York City, especially in my area. Most people like usually go to their job and then they work at the job so much that they like get a prescription from their job. So like my area, like most of the people that get their medication are people that go to the um, job work in that area and then they just go pick up the medication right there because it's literally next to the job. And like you can pick it up in the morning and in the lunch break or afternoon. But the problem is that it always gets super crowded because that time period is when everyone literally goes on the same breaks. So it's pretty bad. But right now it's literally just people that live there. They're all, everybody's like really, really nice, considerate. Nothing really crazy goes on. So that's where we're gonna wrap the video up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, bye.